Comments, schmommets. We've had this on for a week now. Can we calm down already? Maybe not. Good lord, the number of people who usually are sensible but just completely lost it over Yugle 2 plus comment mashup is insane. Nevertheless, I'm here to tell you there are a lot of things to love about the new system, a few to worry about, and maybe a couple to fear. But before I get into the good stuff, let's acknowledge that this transition was a hot mess. The way it happened was abrupt and disruptive and confusing. When was it? Uh, Thursday? Late afternoon my time? Bam! Australians were in the middle of the next day. People in London, Antwerp, they were still in their beds. In a stroke, every comment on the system was frozen. You couldn't reply to them anymore. You couldn't vote them up. You couldn't vote them down. They weren't alive anymore. They were comment corpses. You know what they were? Print. But that's only temporary. Tom Burns, who has a good video on the topic, heard from someone at YouTube, the old comments will come to life in the future. Some people couldn't see any comments. Some people couldn't post comments without first dealing with this alien entity known as Google+. And when they tried to do that, it kept throwing up confusing dialogues. Do you want to change the name of your channel to your real name? Do you want to make a new page? They were asking us to decide about things we didn't really understand and we didn't know their consequences. A lot of people found that unnerving. I know one very successful YouTuber who created seven, seven, seven unique pages just to try and link up his channel. And I know someone else who had one channel on one Google Plus account, another channel on another Google Plus account. He had trouble logging into both of them. It took me months to work out how to be Michael Markman on Google Plus and Nicola on YouTube. But by the time of the switch, I was ready. So I don't give Google 2 Plus very high marks for managing the transition. My guess is it was done by someone whose main experience was waxing for hair removal. They decided there's no way to ease into it. You just could give it one big fast yank. Or maybe it was someone who learned to swim by being thrown into a pool. On the uh, plus side, sorry, uh, there are a couple of good things. One, editing. I make a lot of typos and I can fix them now. Couldn't do that before. Italics and boldface. Now that's worth a little to me. I, I like it. Couldn't do that before. URLs and comments. Sometimes I have something relevant to share. Now I can do it. Couldn't do that before. Yes, I know this opens the door to spam, but I'd be shocked if Google doesn't find a way to minimize that pretty soon. Private comments. Now, this is really cool. I can send a comment about a video to just one person if I remember exactly which buttons to click. I messed that up earlier today, but I'm going to get it. And video responses. Remember those? I'm pretty sure you can put a link to your own video in a comment. I know another opportunity for spam, but I expect the thumbs will sort that out. Oh, wait. Did they tell you about that? There's only one thumb. Don't let the picture fool you. Only the thumb up works. It's the same as plus one in Google+. Plus. The thumbs down button, it's not wired to anything yet. Which brings me to the elephant in the room. The marquee feature that's not working as promised. Top comments. And even if it worked as promised, I'm not sure I'd like it. Now, I'll tell you, most places I'm seeing comments from people I know, and people I want to hear from, and that makes this feel more like a community. Well, your mileage may vary. It doesn't look this good to everyone. Obi Hank Kenobi took a screenshot of what people are saying to Emma Blackery about her delightfully cheeky song about the Switch. Pretty ugly stuff. And then Obi John Kenobi saw what Hank did, and he posted this on his Tumblr. You'll ever find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Well, let's paraphrase. What he actually said was, popular Google Plus users are almost universally misogynistic, racist assballs. And John is so, can I use this word? I've been dying to use this word. John is so nonplussed by this, he forgets to imagine the plusers complexly, and then he just hauls off and calls them almost universally misogynistic, racist assballs. Almost. You know who's in that almost? Robert Scoble, Lamar Wilson, Felicia Day, Lawrence Lessig, everybody's MySpace friend, Tom Anderson, and the Dalai Lama. They all live in the almost. So do I. So does my buddy Robert Jones, who is my personal new comments guru. What was that? John either forgot to be awesome or his Tumblr was hacked. I'm betting the Tumblr was hacked. Prior to the switch, do you remember people ever saying, we love the YouTube comment system? I mean, I love the comments you leave for me. I love that. But the system? Do you remember people saying, oh, YouTube comments are the best. Nobody ever gets attacked in the comments. Nobody's ever abused for gender politics, religion, race, sexual orientation. Why, there's nary a homophobe in the lot is there. Little thought experiment. Let's just say that you are the manager responsible for managing YouTube comments. And you know that in many ways they suck. And you also know that somewhere in your corporation, in Google, there's a sophisticated threaded comment system with lots of cool features that's been field tested for two years. Wouldn't you want to give that a try? Especially if your corporation sent word that it was a strategic thing to do. And you didn't really have a choice. Well, if you were that manager and you were really good at your job, you probably would have given a couple of thoughts to what you were giving up. 
tools to let the community manage itself and control the pests, a thumbs down button, a mark as spam button. I think you would have insisted that your new comment system be at least as socially responsible as your old one. You wouldn't launch a top comment feature that anyone can gain simply by posting replies to their own comments, would you? Not if you were good at what you did. Until next time, I'm Mikola. DVD extras. Of course, there's a lot more going on here than simply trying to improve the comments on YouTube. There's that whole Google Plus thing and its strategic importance. Now, the easy knock is to say Google is just trying to save a failed social network by tying it to YouTube, but I think that oversimplifies it. It's a lot deeper than that. But that's a big topic, and I'm saving it for next time. Until next time, I... Wait, did I already say that? Meantime, file bugs. Go file bugs often. Go to the bottom of the page, click feedback, and tell them the thumbs down button doesn't work. Tell them people are gaming the top comments. Tell them about all the features that bother you and the features you want. Bugs. File bugs. Much better than petitions. These are engineers. Got to link to Emma, who got the whole ball rolling. And I'd like to also link to Tom Burns, who puts the whole brouhaha into context. If you want to see part two of this, it would help if you subscribed. And you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure and tell you when it goes up. And dare I say it, circle me on... Bye now.